Canada Goose just dropped their footwear collection and I don't know about you, but I am very excited to see them expanding on everything that they do. Before we start this video, I'm just going to ask you to give this video a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to my channel so you see more content like this. Let's start with the unboxing because this season you are going to be receiving a limited edition hard case that comes with your boots. This is excellent for storing your boots when you're not using them or for putting other things in there. For example, I plan on using mine for storing my camera gear. In the case, you'll find two extra pair of shoelaces as well as two dust bags to store your shoes whenever you're not using them. For their first ever shoe collection, Canada Goose has launched two pairs of shoes, the Journey Boots, which are the ones that I'm talking about in this video, and the Snow Mantra Boot, which are meant for more extreme conditions, and as Canada Goose says on their website, these are made for some of the coldest places on earth. These boots come in red, white, and black in both men and women's, and retail for $13.95 Canadian. Inspired by traditional hiker footwear, these boots are expertly crafted in Italy. Just as with the Snow Mantra boots, the Journey boots are available in both men's and women's. Under the women's collection, you're going to find three colorways available in tan, black, and white, as I've picked out here. And in the men's collection, you'll find three colorways as well in gray and white, black, and brown and black, as my husband picked out for his Journey boots. The soft and flexible leather upper on these boots is constructed from three pieces. Laminating seems to reduce pressure points and rubbing. One of the coolest things that we were told about these boots from the Canada Goose team themselves is that these boots will mold to the wearer's foot over time, ensuring a custom fit. And in case you're wondering, they say it takes about 22 hours of wear time to get that custom fit. Speaking of fit, I got my boots in a size 7 US. This was a size recommended to me by the Canada Goose foot scanner that's found in the stores. If you have a chance to go into the store and try on the boots and get your foot scanned, I highly recommend it. We also had a chance to jump into their snow room and try the boots out in the elements before we took them home. Interestingly enough, I find that the boots are true to size. However, the size 7 just felt a little too big. I didn't want to size down by half a size just because in my experience, any time that I've gotten a 6.5 in a boot, it's always proven to be too small. And then as the cold weather comes and as I'm wearing thicker socks, I find the shoes to be incredibly uncomfortable. So this time around, I wanted to go with the size 37 and make sure that I had room for a thicker sock as we move into the colder weather. Plus, this was the size that the Canada Goose foot scanner recommended, so I'm just going with the recommendation and hoping for the best. Moving into outfit inspiration. I've been wearing these boots loads since I got them last week, and I'm really surprised and happy with how many of my outfits these boots go with. Even though the cold weather rating on these boots are at 0 to negative 15 degrees Celsius, I had just fine enough of a time wearing these all over the city, all around town, running errands and everything like that. They weren't too hot, they were incredibly comfortable, and I really love the way that they look with all of my outfits. I think they have a very cool street style aesthetic to them. And living in Canada, I really appreciate the fact that these boots are functional as well. Not only are they cold rated 0 to minus 15 degrees Celsius like I already mentioned, but they're also waterproof. So you can't go wrong with a boot like this when you're living in a cold weather climate.
that's everything for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram if you want daily outfit inspiration and make sure you give me a like and a follow on YouTube as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!